Hi, it's Ethnic Green Living, and I am back with another video for the Virtual Homeschool Co-op. And today I am going to be talking a little bit about balance in homeschool and self-care, making sure I'm getting my me time. So if you're not familiar with the Virtual Homeschool Co-op, I'll go ahead and see the description box and there's all the playlists of everything we've done previously. If you want to join, you can go ahead and join. So I want to say, although I have balance now, I did not always have it. At one point, it was homeschool, 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 homeschool. But you know what? I me, I'm an individual, and I have a life too, and I have some things that I want to do, need to do, love to do. And so I'm just going to kind of talk to you about what I do for my me time and for me. I will say that having other homeschool friends will make or break your homeschool life, I feel, because you they're really able to relate to you you know when you say something they're not thinking oh well you shouldn't homeschool or oh well, you shouldn't have kids but they're like oh mama you're just having a day and tomorrow's gonna be better or go outside and play and then come back and tackle that subject later so the advice that you get from them is very different um they're definitely more encouraging and more supporting I just met some amazing people um, from my YouTube channel, linking up with like-minded people um, that can help me, encourage me, and just kind of keep me going. The next thing I want to talk about is self-maintenance. You have to take care of yourself. For me, I don't necessarily do my um, hair, nails, toes, and makeup, but I dress up every day. So every day, even if it's just a plain skirt, I put on a skirt. And I put on a dress every day because for me, so for me getting dressed, it lets me know and gets my brain in the, the motion of, okay, it's time to work. Setting limits. I just did a video on that. Say no. If someone asks, can you do this? No, I can't. Can you come? No. Do you want to? No. It wasn't on my plan. It wasn't on my list. I'm going to stress myself trying to get all my kids ready, trying to get a snack and all this stuff prepared at the last minute. So just really limiting. You don't have to do everything. You don't have to go everywhere. You don't have to be everything for everybody. If people don't understand that, oh well. And like I said, I just did a video on it because people were getting upset that I wasn't answering their calls or their emails or their whatever when they wanted me to. Well, you know what? That's not the top of my priority. Sorry. So make sure you set those limits. Um, I'll talk about aromatherapy and then I'll talk about my hobbies. And that's it for me. Aromatherapy. Smells make a huge difference in my life. So now I have two diffusers that I diffuse throughout the house. I do use natural um, body and home products. And so for me, those things just are really great perks and great pick-me-ups. And when something smells good to me, it just feels good and it has me in a happy place. I have my own hobbies. You know, homeschooling is not all that I do. I love YouTube. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too much. Um, I like to run. A marathon is my ultimate goal. So far, I've only got up to seven miles. And also, that's a hobby, but it's not something that I'm currently doing. Um, reading, I'm trying to pick it back up. I used to love reading. You know, with little kids, it can kind of get hard to read and have that quiet time, like you can see I'm making this video. And it's no quiet time in a video. Honestly, but not least, this is probably my favorite and my biggest. It's the one that I'm most active in hobby-wise. And that is crafting, um, scrapbooking, cards, paper crafts. I'm always doing flip books or pocket letters or something um, creative. I love doing that. And to me, it's just a really great outlet. My craft room is absolutely beautiful. And so every time I walk into there, it feels like a piece of paradise. And it's my place to escape from the world. So this is my absolute um, probably number one thing um, for me. It's the way that I'm able to get my me time. It's the way that I'm able to take care of myself, that I'm able to mentally have a break. Um, just going to that beautiful place and just sitting there. And I only take my diffuser with me so it smells really good and just looking at all the things that people have sent me. And I love flowers and so looking at all the beautiful little flowers and handmade goodies that I have in there. It's really encouraging and inspiring. It's just a break away from do this, do this. Next, I have to do this. And if I don't get this done, this won't get done. And if I don't do this, then this. And blah, 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 blah. And all of that stuff. So it's my escape. So I would encourage other homeschool moms with big or small families to make some you time every single day. Whether it's 
your makeup every day, whether it's polishing your toes or nails once a week, um, whether it's just dressing up, I would encourage you to get some other homeschool friends, like-minded people that you can talk to, set limits for yourself, find yourself a hobby, and get you a candle, a diffuser, um, plug-ins, whatever smells good to you, whatever aromatherapy of your choice, because if your house smells good and looks good, you'll definitely want to, um, you'll definitely just enjoy it and be happier overall. So hopefully this helps you, and until next time, bless you.